Hello, hello, it's Wednesday. Time for a studio update from me, Ashley Drennan. If you are new to following me, I do these every Wednesday evening just to have a chat about my studio and my painting practice and what's been going on each week. Um, I won't be doing these for much longer because <laughs> baby will be arriving soon. So I'll be taking a baby break then. But this week um, has been really good. Got lots of good, good painting done and kind of have pushed things in a different direction. So I'm gonna show you now what I've been up to. So I finished this yellow painting yesterday. Um, and you know, it's good, it's clean, pleased with it. And what I've pushed out with a bit more in this painting um, is trying to get more of a sense of structure because there's a lot of gesture, there's a lot going on. But I've used a lot of masking tape in the under layers of painting, but I've kept them very faint so they're not too obvious to the eye. But they just they subtly push in and push out, which is one of the, the kind of key traits to my painting practice, that sense of push and pull. And also I've added in as a finishing mark these uh, paint scrapes with blue, just again to add to that sense of, of structure in a space that uh, has qu quite a lot of looseness about it. So I'm pleased with this one. This one will be, has behaved well and will be photographed and will be going up on my website. Now, however, <laughs> if I move you over here, this painting has been such a great challenge and such a real, what's the word? Well, pleasure, I guess, because it's it's pushed me in a really new direction it's made me ask a lot of questions about my current painting practice and it's just made me think quite differently about the marks that i'm applying and how i'm applying them and this is what you want because this is how you get development and experiment within painting um so for the past couple of months i've been working in in triage like taking sets of boulders from rock landscapes which is what currently is influencing my painting practice you can read more about this on my artist bio because long-term followers will have heard me talking about this so much i'll put a link above um but i wanted to to separate out that 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 trio and i wanted to play with how i could place the boulders and what i can do with them and just just you know loosen it up a wee bit um, so that's this is sort of a starting point for that that this new direction of painting. But se separating them out means you know you're you're thinking about the space and the balance very differently. Um, and I wanted to still have a connection between them. So I've used these yellow marks in this painting last year as like you know threading these boulders together. Um, and they're very they're very loose. There's a bit of wildness about them. I don't know how well my camera will pick them up, but it's like a lemon oil pastel that runs through each of the, the three boulders. And the reason I kept it quite light was because I didn't want it to stand out too much. So it's blending nicely into the background. I've added a lot of masking tape painting. So like here and down here and down here. So like it gives this, you know, very fine lines, very clear lines, painting lines. Um, and again, it's creating that balance between these ordered paint lines and paint blocking against these gestural marks and these wildness. It's kind of like a controlled chaos in a way. <laughs> um, and then I finished with these really bright oil pastel marks, which it took me a long time to decide on them. Because it's like a new, it's a new way of, of thinking about my palette. It's very bright, it's very bold. I first placed them on my studio wall here just to see how the color and the tone would work against the background. I wanted to have a pop. I always love having a color pop, but this is, um, yeah, this is bringing real brightness in, into, the, into the painting. And yeah, it took me a while to settle with it, but it's good, it's good because it's bringing things in a new direction. My eye keeps going back to it in the studio. <laughs> so that's always a good sign. Um, and sometimes you make a painting, maybe for me, it's maybe one in every like 15 paintings where you just think, yes, this is gonna move on to the next thing. And this is what you want. I could spend ages talking about this new painting because it's it's getting all my creative flow um, prickly, um, but yeah, I'll move on to the next one. <laughs> I 
don't want to bore you. <laughs> so this is about halfway there. Loving these colors. Um, I've propped this painting from last year above it because I want to kind of repeat what's happening here, but on larger scale. So I have to start thinking about a bigger, I have to use bigger brush. I have to think about the palette a bit more. I want it to be more, um, more conviction and more confidence about it. So um, I'm gonna work a bit more on this one tomorrow, but I like the way it goes, it's going, I like the palette. And it's good contrast to the yellow paintings, which are really um, out and, you know, yeah. I, it's Because I paint on so many paintings at one time in my studio, it's always great to have like this visual conversation happening on the wall where one connects into the other. Um, and it's, it's, I find it really hard to work on one painting at a time because it just, it doesn't connect for me that way. Just give you an overview of all the paintings that are currently in process at the minute. So these are all connecting visually in one way or another. I didn't get as far as working more on this green one because I was becoming so consumed by the yellows, but I'm gonna do some more work on this this week. Um, this one again is challenging me, but in a good way because I'm thinking about things differently. Um, so yeah, we'll see. It's all go. Love having a busy studio. You know, you're getting stuck in. Things are moving along. Thought process, big thought process happening. It's good, really good for the head. So thanks so much for watching as always, and I'll chat to you guys next week. Bye.